so friends this is our recipe for today upma with celery with onion celery carrots so friends uh, for our recipe today the celery upma the first thing we are going to do is to roast some peanuts in oil so i heated up some oil olive oil and then i'll add some raw peanuts so we'll roast them for a second then i'll also add in some roasted cashews we'll take them out and then we'll add them back later So friends I took the roasted peanuts out and I do want to add some cashews as well they are already roasted but I'll still just saute them for like a second and we'll add them back after we prepare the upma and today I'm going to use uh, the the suji which is already roasted so i don't have to roast the suji okay so i just roasted them a little bit and um, we'll add them back in later so now i will add a little more oil and then we'll add our spices and the veggies I'm using extra virgin olive oil. So friends friends in the spices I'm going to use the mustard seeds like a teaspoon and then cumin seeds and then because today i am using uh, celery as a veggie so i always add uh, fennel seeds to celery then uh, two whole red chilies and some curry leaves i'm using frozen curry leaves that's why you see they're dark in color and then friends i'll add my onions to them just mix them a little bit and then i can smell the spices already So now I can add my veggies. So I'll add. I took like a medium-sized onion to dice it. So oh, it smells so good. I can smell the fennel seeds and curry leaves already. They smell great. So friends I'm going to add the celery in as well. It takes the same amount of time like the onion. So I took like 3 stalks of celery. And I took like one carrot and diced it small. But carrot takes a long time so I microwaved it for about 5 minutes. So it should be pretty tender. So we'll I'll add the carrot later. I'll add carrot and uh, peas later. So let's cook the celery and onion for a couple of minutes, and then we'll add the carrot and the peas. So I'm going I'm going to add some salt on the carrots and the celery. It will. So salt is as per taste, um, and today I'm using the iodized sea salt. 
So friends, the onions have turned translucent. Now I'm going to add in the carrot and the peas. And then I'll add some water and cover these for a couple of minutes. So I'm t I've took like a cup of frozen peas. I'm adding in a cup of water now, I'll add more later. So let's cover these and cook them for a couple of minutes. So friends, it has been a couple of minutes and the celery is tender. Now I'm going to add in three cups of water. I'm taking one cup of suji or semolina. So I like it a little bit uh, gluey, so I'm adding three cups. You can add less water if you want it uh, less gluey. So once the water comes to a boil, we'll start to add the semolina slowly. I'll add a little bit more salt in there. And so we added a little bit, uh, just a pinch earlier and maybe like a half a teaspoon now. You can taste the water and then adjust the salt accordingly as per your taste. So friends, the water has come to a boil. So we'll start to add the semolina or suji slowly. So you want to keep uh, mixing it so that there are there is no lump formation. So you want to add this slowly. And once this absorbs the water then we will add the peanuts and cashews back in and we'll also garnish with cilantro friends now the upma has become thick it is ready the suji semolina has absorbed most of the water so now we can add in our nuts the peanuts and the cashews back in and i'll also top up with some cilantro so friends this is our recipe for today pukma with the celery and carrots so friends this is our recipe for today pukma with celery with onion celery carrots and green peas so friends i hope you like the video if you like the video like it subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon and i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye